Today in our studio, I will be calculating probabilities and critical values based on the normal distribution, along with generating corresponding normal curves. I will be using the Mosaic package. You can install it using install.packages with Mosaic in quotes. Or you can click on Packages tab here. Click the Install tab. Type Mosaic or select it from the options. Click Install and it should be ready to go in under a minute. To use the package, we'll load it up using library mosaic. Hit Ctrl Enter and we're ready to roll. Now, suppose we have a normal distribution with a mean of 10 and a standard deviation of 2. To find the probability that x is greater than 7, for example, we can use the xpnum function in the mosaic package. The score x is 7, the mean is 10 and the standard deviation is 2. Control Enter. As you can see, the output gives the less than probability here, but also shows calculations for both x less than 7 and x greater than 7. The normal curve is also shown here with a vertical line drawn at x equals 7, with the corresponding z score at the top of the line. The area to the left is shaded in a darker color and the area to the right in a lighter color. Now, suppose we want the probability that standard normal score is less than 1.2. We can simply use xpnorm 1.2. Control Enter. The output shows the less than and greater than probabilities, and the graph shows a vertical line at z equals 1.2, with the less than and the greater than areas shaded. By default, the horizontal axis of the graph shows four standard deviations below and above the mean. Suppose we want it to range between negative 3 and 3. We can determine the horizontal cutoff point by including x equals a vector consisting of the low end and top end. Control Enter. The end points are now negative 3 and 3. Now suppose we want the probability that z is between negative 0.8 and 1.2. We can use the xpnum function with the argument being a vector consisting of both negative 0.8 and 1.2. Control Enter. You can see the area between the two scores in the middle here and the probability for the region here provided to the right here as B. Now we can also do inverse lookup, that is we can find scores that correspond to given areas or probabilities. Suppose the area below is this score Z1 is 0.2. We can find Z1 by using XQNum 0.2. Control Enter. The z score is shown on the graph here as negative 0.84 and also shown in the console here. The area to the left of the z score is 0.2 while the area to the right is 0.8. Now back to the non standard normal distribution with a mean of 10 and a standard deviation of 2. Suppose the probability of a score greater than x1 is 0.05. To find this score x1, we can use xqnorm.95 because the function requires the less than area, 10 for the mean and 2 for the standard deviation. Control Enter. The value of x1 is calculated to be 13.29 here. The graph shows the location of x1 at this vertical line with a z-score of 1.64 corresponding to the 0.95 probability. Finally, we have the xcnorm function which can be used to generate the boundaries of the central or middle probabilities. For the middle 95%, xc norm 0.95 returns the boundaries as negative 1.96 and positive 1.96. We can also find the boundaries of the middle 90% for our normal distribution. And that returns 6.7 and 13.3. And that's it. Thanks for watching.